SMSD has had an outstanding year in the sports arena, and that is due in no small part to players like junior Alyssa Jackson, who can't seem to limit herself to just one sport. I've done pretty much all the sports, but um, this year I did um, a little bit of cross country, cheerleading, basketball, softball, and track. Alyssa Jackson, she is my junior center fielder, a three-year starter. She is a coach's dream. She's that kid that, that doesn't come around very often. And when they do, you cherish them and you miss them when they're gone and you notice when they're not there. Um, she just, she's a go-getter. She gives you 110% every single second she's out on the field. She's a game changer. That is a lot for a high school student to keep up with and attend to her schoolwork. It's hard to do both. It's stressful. All the coaches, uh, you know, are come play our sport, you know, with Alyssa, and she does it all. So, and, and she's good at all of them. She's a varsity basketball, varsity track, varsity cheerleader. She ran cross country. I mean, she's just, she's done a little bit of everything for Stafford. She's, uh, what could we say, Little Miss Spartan. But for all this intensive training, there are definite payoffs as well. For instance, last fall's basketball team progressing to playoffs. It was really exciting. We worked so hard. First round of district, we played so hard, beat a lot of people. Then second round of district, we lost to some of the teams, so it was harder for us to kind of fight back to get a playoff spot. And this year's victory in softball against Needville. The staffers school has never beat Needville in softball and it was just an amazing feeling to know we could do that and I was a part of that win. It was a, it was a sweet, sweet win. Um, you know, I've been here, this is my 10th season here at Stafford and they've been in our district every year. They've been state champs, they've been state runner-ups, they've been state semifinalists, you know, just year after year after year putting a good product on the field and they're always so tough and when we go to play them, you know, you have to be very focused and, and play a really, really good game to compete with these guys. And so when we went out and did that, uh, we played a complete game, played them seven innings and, and actually had to battle back a couple of times to actually win the game. It wasn't just to give me. Um, the girls played great. Uh, my senior shortstop stepped up and hit two home runs out of the park, you know, clutch hits. Um, Alyssa was on base multiple times. She made several plays in center field. My pitcher was phenomenal. She was lights out. It was just everything came together and our team showed that we're capable of playing with the best, the best in the state and in our region. Stafford only has Alyssa for one more year. What are her plans after that? I plan to receive a softball scholarship. Either any school will be fine for me as long as they have what I want to major in. I plan to be a physical therapist and earn my doctor's degree and hopefully op open up my own practitioner. I asked Coach Aaron Bide if she had any words of advice for Alyssa going forward. Take advantage of every opportunity you're given. Uh, don't take anything for granted. Make sure you're working hard and giving 110% in whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's sports, academics, you know, your job, your relationships with your, with your friends and family. Give everybody your everything and, and you'll get it back. And finally, Alyssa, when you have your own practice, will you still be playing sports? Maybe if my kids are. I would hope to. <laughs> sports have always been a big part of my life. For Spartan Sports Central, this is Randall Williams.